average flow rates. Let's take a look at how centrifugal cargo pumps work. As crude enters the pump, the rotating impeller speeds up the liquid. The crude then slows down as it passes through the narrow part of a spiral funnel-shaped chamber, called a volute. As the area of the volute increases, so does the pressure of the crude, which results in the crude leaving the pump with increased pressure. If you are to control the flow of crude oil cargo correctly during bulk discharge, it's important that you understand the relationship between the flow and pressure generated by a centrifugal pump. When considering the pressure generated by a centrifugal pump, it's useful to think about how far up a column a pump can lift a liquid. Pumping system designers and manufacturers refer to this as head, or more accurately, discharge head. This is usually measured in meters, but can be converted to the more familiar unit of pressure known as bar. We do this by multiplying the head by the density of the liquid being pumped and dividing it by 10197. For example, a head of 155 meters and a density of 890 kilometers per meter cubed would be equivalent to a pressure of 13.5 bars. How the head changes with flow is a characteristic of a centrifugal pump and this relationship can be shown on a graph. Here, the x-axis represents the volumetric flow rate in meters cubed per hour. We give this the letter Q. The y-axis represents the head in meters. We give this the letter H. The maximum head that a pump can generate occurs when the flow is zero. We call this the shutoff head and it is equivalent to what would be seen on the pump discharge pressure gauge if the valve was closed against the flow. The maximum flow occurs when head is at a minimum. This would be the case if the pump flow was totally unrestricted. Between these two points, there are a range of head conditions with corresponding flow rates. Pump manufacturers create the range of head conditions by throttling the pump discharge valve under test conditions and recording the various flow rates. The result plotted on the graph is known as a pump performance curve, or sometimes an HQ curve. You will see this in the pump manufacturer's handbook, and they will often be posted in the cargo control room. While it is theoretically possible to operate the cargo pump under the full range of head conditions, you should avoid operating the centrifugal pump close to the shutoff point because the flow rate is very restricted and the pump casing could overheat. You should also avoid operating under very low head conditions as the huge flow rates generated can cause a large torque on the pump shaft. There will be a point where the pump is developing flow and head at maximum efficiency. This is called the duty point and this is the point at which the design discharge head and flow rate meet on the pump performance curve.